up guys I'm your real Soto and in this video I'm gonna be showing you how to get hosting for free for your website now I know that there's a lot of videos out there where people um, show you how to build a website and usually they tell you to go on SiteGround or they go on GoDaddy um, or Bluehost and they tell you to pay for a, uh, a um, hosting plan but usually you guys just wanna um, test around practice building a website um, and you guys don't want to pay because you're only learning how to build a website right you're not actually um, trying to have your own website up there for clients or for or for uh, e-commerce or whatever it may be um, so basically you just want to get a website just to um, practice building and uh, learn how to you know build websites right um, and this is where Pantheon comes in. Now you're able to basically get um, free hosting for two websites. And on here they call it staging. Um, so let's just get into this. The first thing you're going to need to do, let me remove, let me actually uh, shrink this um, and move this over here. First thing you're going to need to do is click on get started. And then um, just uh, register in here. Add your name, add your last name, company, um, let's just call this Furio Soto, um, work email, uh, let's go ahead and type that in, and then let's go ahead and just add a password in there. And then let's go ahead and click on sign up. Let's go ahead and save this. Click login. Um, let's go ahead and type in our email. So oops. Type in our password. Let's get in here. Okay. So, first thing you're gonna need to do on here is um, click on uh, start new project, and then we're just gonna want to name our website. Um, so, for this example, I'm just gonna put um, web tut, and I'm in the United States. So I'm going to go ahead and click that, click continue. Sorry if there's any background noise. Let's just let that load up here. And then you're going to want to install um, your CMS. And of course, um, we mainly use uh, WordPress. So we're going to click on WordPress deploy. Mm -hmm. And we're just gonna let it install WordPress. Now I'm gonna pause the video here and I'll be right back once that's done installing. It's done installing, click on um, this to check out the site dashboard. Okay, so um, something that I did wanna explain because some of, the, some of this might be a little bit excuse, um, confusing. So um, basically you're gonna be you're gonna be building your website on the development site so um, how it works if you've ever done staging before you have your development site your testing site and then your live site um, so basically where you're gonna where you're gonna just be doing all your edits all your edits is on the dev site once you're done doing your edits on the dev site you're gonna want to move it to, over to the live site if you do have a live mm -hmm. domain if you don't you really don't need to worry about that if you're just testing um, yeah, if you're just really messing around with the with WordPress and you're just learning how to build, to be honest, I would just focus on the development site. It's it's gonna be called Dev, um, whatever that whatever your site may be, um, and then you can go ahead and uh, just start here. Um, but and then the live site is a little bit different. If you click on live, you won't you you actually won't even be able to um, view live because technically. You don't have a live website. Um, your live website would be um, like uh, basically your 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 full um, domain. It would be uh, 
for instance, uh, Google.com, right, would be considered a live website. Now, if it's called dev.google.com, um, that's a dev site. If it's called test, you can click on test. Um, this is the test site. If it's called test.google.com, that's just your test site. You can test. You can basically go on it and uh, see if everything works. And then once everything works, you can move it on to live. But um, for most of you guys, you probably won't be going through that. You'll probably just focus on the dev site, and you will probably just you know learn how to build um, websites on there and uh, that sort of stuff. So anyway, go ahead because I did already click on it, but um, go ahead and click on visit development site. And then click your language. And then, uh, of course, you know, name your website. So this is just going to be um, web tut username web um, username web tut. And let me just make sure that we hide our password here. There we go. Um, and then go ahead and add an email. I mean, I'm honestly just going to add a test email to this 101, whatever. It doesn't have to be my actual email because I'm going to delete this website after. So it's not really going to matter. Um, and if you, since this is a testing website, I would highly suggest you uh, discourage search engines from indexing your site. Um, and then just click install WordPress. And then go ahead and save your password and then click login. And then we're going to, since our password's already saved, we're just going to log into WordPress. And there you guys have it. Um, it's pretty simple. I hope you guys were able to follow along without um, without any issues. If you guys did have any issues, um, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. And I'll make sure to help you guys out. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, thanks for watching. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe already. Because I'm really just trying to help you guys out on um, creating um, good web development content. And these are just stuff that I go through as a as a web developer issues that I, I've had, you know, and um, things that I've been able to overcome. And you can probably see that for most of my videos. Um, I try to go a little more in in depth um, in, into things. So uh, just let me know if you have any questions, guys. And uh, like I said, thanks for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.